नमस्कार एंड गुड इवनिंग टुडे वही विल लुक एट केनरा बैंक लेटेस्ट रिजल्ट्स क्यू वन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर केनरा बैंक वॉज फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन जीरो सिक्स इन मैंगलोर इज अ फुल फ्लेजेड बैंक एंड इन रिसेंट पास सिंडिकेट बैंक ऑल्सो गॉट मैच विथ इट so now it is one of the biggest banks in india <clears throat> so uh, uh, we will go through its results and uh, other matters now actually after merger of uh, the syndicate bank with the canara bank uh, the branches 4000 branches and 4500 atms also got merged <clears throat> from syndicate bank to uh, <coughs> canara bank its loan book is uh, very good now retail book also is very good <coughs> corporate book is uh, 290000 crores that is the only worrying point but uh, uh, it is uh, coming out of all nps slowly 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 now no fresh uh, uh, big nps Uh, normal NPS are there. The what are common for all banks, private and public, that is there. But uh, corporate loans, uh, big loans, uh, most of them have come down. <coughs> so there also corporate book means NBFCs are there, infrastructure are there, metal and metal products are there, textiles are there, food processing is there, and engineering also is there. This bank. Canara Bank has got five overseas branches in UK, South Africa, USA, uh, DIFC, and UAE. Uh, it has operations in Tanzania through wholly owned subsidiary Canara uh, Canara Bank Tanzania Limited. It also has operations in Russia through Commercial Indo Bank uh, LLC. which is a joint venture along with state bank of india presently international banking accounts uh, <coughs> are about 5.6% of the total business of the bank <coughs> the bank has got certain subsidiaries like canara rubico asset management company limited uh, which uh, in which it has got 51% stake along with the uh, rubico group nv which handles 28 uh, mutual fund schemes canara bank securities limited is there which provides stock broking services canara uh, hsbc obc life insurance company limited in which uh, canara bank has got 51% stake it is a life insurance joint venture with uh, hsbc insurance and oriental bank of commerce It has declared a profit of 105 crores in FI20. Now we have to see what it is. Canfield Homes was one of the uh, profitable, very nicely profitable uh, uh, subsidiary. Uh, <coughs> it's always spinning out some good profits. As I said, uh, the merger uh, with Syndicate Bank has taken place. It has become the fourth largest PSC bank. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, the government of india is a ma- major shareholder market cap is around 60383 crores current price is around 333 uh, uh, the 52 week high is 351 uh, stock price earning is around for uh, around 5 uh, book value is 430 roc is very good at 33% ROE is also good at 14.8 percent. Face value is still 10 rupees. The uh, price price curve is all is sloping upwards. <coughs> That is important. See how the price curve is because whether you want to invest or not, if it is going downwards, wait till it comes to the bottom and then goes up. the stock is trading at just 0.77 times of its book value which is very good 
uh, stock is providing a good dividend yield of 3.61 percent it has delivered good profit uh, growth over the last five years uh, but uh, its inter interest coverage uh, ratio needs to improve uh, return on equity is somewhat low okay but somewhat low contingent liabilities are there 3 lakh 15633 crores company uh, uh, earnings include other income uh, promoter holding has decreased uh, somewhat promoter is the government of india uh, but if they are issuing per, uh, to public it is good for us so how can we say it is a negative point now let us look at the quarterly results uh, uh, Last year, June 22, uh, the revenue was 18,537 crores. Then, uh, previous quarter, March 23 quarter, 24,304 crores. Uh, latest quarter, June 23 quarter, 25,451 crores. So, it is okay. The performance is uh, very good. Year on year, uh, growth in revenue is 37.3. Quarter on quarter growth also is 4.72, it's good. Now, interest 11,396 crores in June 22 quarter, and the previous quarter 15,292 crores, and latest quarter 16,337 crores. So, interest income has gone up by 43.36% year on year, which is very good. And quarter on quarter also 6.83% is uh, very good. The expenses have gone up by 17.14% year on year, but have come down uh, <coughs> by 10.331 uh, with reference to the March quarter, that is quarter on quarter. Net profit has gone up from 2,193 crores in the uh, uh, last year Q, uh, Q1. Uh, to 3,364 crores in the previous quarter and 3,755 crores in the latest quarter. So the year on year jump is 71 percent, 71.23 percent actually. So net profit jump is very very good for a PSU bank. Uh, um, uh, let me tell uh, of course 11.62 percent quarter on quarter also jump is there which is very good. Let me tell you one thing. The government is always uh, thinking of uh, privatizing this bank, that bank, etc., etc. But most banks, I find, they have recovered from their woes. Most PSU banks have recovered from their woes. Now, Canara Bank is performing very well. So, gross NPA percentage uh, has come down uh, from 6.99% uh, last year Q1 to 5.35% to Q4. And uh, further in Q1 it has come down to 5.16%. So minus 26.18% year on year, which is very impressive. Uh, minus 3.55% quarter on quarter, that also is impressive. But Bank of Maharashtra is performing better than Canara Bank. Of course, it's a small bank with uh, less uh, problems. So uh, gross and PAI is coming down, coming down. One day it may come down to 2%. Uh, which will be very healthy. <coughs> it is improving. Canara Bank is definitely improving. Net NPA has come down to 1.57% in the latest quarter, which is 36.69% down year on year and 9.25% down quarter on quarter. Net NPA is uh, very good, though some of the PSU banks have come down to less than one. <coughs> so, but Canara Bank. Uh, you know, uh, uh, it is a big bank. Now it is. Uh, it had lot of liabilities, and it is uh, coming out of them. Then, if you look at the P and L account, revenue has uh, uh, gone up in the, over the last five years: forty-nine thousand to seventy thousand, to seventy thousand to eighty-five thousand to ninety-three thousand crores revenue. Hmm? So five years back it was 49,000 crores, now it is 93,000 crores, which is very good. Net profit, uh, it, it was the last five years back, then it has jumped to very good profit of 2,957, then 6,000, then 11,000, now 12, uh, 13,000. 
Okay, so that, now that uh, losses period is uh, gone. Net profit is uh, 12,906 in the trailing 12 months. EPS also is very good. Now earlier, uh, five years back, it was not paying any dividend. But for the last two years, it has paid very good dividend. 19%, 19%. Uh, so government should be happy about it. So global business uh, has grown by 9.38%, gross advances have grown by 13.27%, uh, net profit uh, as we have seen it has gone up uh, to 3535 crores uh, <coughs> compared to last year 2022 crores. Operating profit uh, has grown by 15.11%, very good, 7604 crores. Net interest income has uh, come to 8,666 crores, growth, which is a growth of 27.72%. Net interest margin is now 3.05%, very healthy. It is now going to compete with the private sector banks on net interest margin. Cost to income ratio is down by 115 uh, BPS and stood at 43.61%, very impressive. Uh, RAM credit grew by 12.89%. That's also good. It constitutes 55% of total advances. You know, these are uh, advances on which uh, there will not be much uh, NPS. Retail credit has grown by 10.64% and housing loans are uh, uh, at 13.64%. Gold loan has grown by 29.37%. 1,29,800 crores. <coughs> NPS we have seen it has come down, net NP has come down to 1.57 percent, down by 91 percent BPS and it is uh, sliding down, down, down and uh, I do expect that by last year, last year, uh, same quarter, no, uh, say uh, Q, Q over next year, next year same quarter, it may come down to less than 1 percent. So uh, that is impressive. Provision coverage ratio is at 88.04% that has improved by 353 basis points. Uh, capital reserve ratio 16.24% uh, which is very good. Return on assets uh, is 0 0.99 just short of 1 uh, and it is likely to grow to 1 and uh, beyond that also. So it is good. Return on equity has improved to 22.95% uh, from last year's so 16.33%. See, where is 16.33? Where is 22.95? So, return on equity is very healthy now. <coughs> so, overall, the <coughs> uh, performance is very good. Asset quality also has improved a lot. Provision coverage ratio has improved a lot, capital adequacy has improved a lot, priority sector, the government priorities are there, you know, prior, priority sector uh, lending, agriculture advances, etc., etc., all of them have uh, improved a lot. Network, if you see now, uh, the bank has got 9,653 branches, 900, 9, sorry, 9,653 branches, out of which, uh, uh, 3,049 are uh, rural, 2,723 are semi-urban, 1,970 are urban, 1,911 are metros, uh, ATMs are 10,683, very impressive. So the bank is a huge, big branch and is all again improving. So three overseas branches are there, London, New York and uh, Dubai. <coughs> <coughs> so, all other uh, factors are very favorable to Canada Bank, it is improving a lot. So, I do expect that uh, the parameters next to for Q1, next year Q1, will be very, very competing with uh, 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 any other uh, PSU bank and probably with some of the best uh, uh, private banks also. <coughs> so, on that basis, Please think about uh, the, generally speaking, PSG Bank. Some of you are asking, uh, 
uh, why are you covering the PSU bank so much and why have you invested in them? You see, they are giving good results. Uh, and uh, the, uh, though price is low, the prices are improving, improving uh, uh, very fast. So, uh, by next year, I do expect a 100% increase in some of the PSU banks, which I am not telling. Do, don't think that it is a recommendation. You will have to be very careful always uh, with every bank, every company. See, every quarterly result you will have to uh, uh, assess and then invest. Uh, if any company does not perform for two quarters, well, go tomorrow, give it up. So, no sentiment towards any company. We want our profit. You have your sentiment towards, uh, towards uh, family members, towards uh, to, uh, uh, relatives, uh, towards your country. No problem. But not towards in investments. Your investment should perform. Then only you will keep them. If they don't perform for two, three quarters, go live on. Simple. As simple as that. Thank you for listening. Uh, I'll be back with you with another very good company. There are many good companies which have performed well in Q1. Uh, but of course, I'm going away for some time. Uh, I'll try to uh, uh, take my laptop, everything there also. Let me see. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, please wait for the next good company.